welcome to the beginning of the romantic road this is kind of a touristy gimmick thing that germany made up they took a portion of beautiful road in bavaria dotted with a bunch of really cute towns called it the romantic road and left it at that we're adam and abby together we are travel with a team at the end of 2020 we quit our jobs to travel full time we started in hawaii explored the Great West in an RV, and took on Alaska, the last frontier. Subscribe to our channel to follow our adventures around the world. We have selected a few towns along the Romantic Road to spend some time in today and tomorrow. Today we are starting right across the river from Fusen at what is probably the highlight of most people's Romantic Road experience, and we're starting it there, which is a little backwards. But Geographically, it made sense. We are starting our romantic road experience at the Neuschwanstein Castle, which is definitely the most fav famous castle in Germany and possibly one of the most famous castles in the world because it is beautiful. Let's go check out what we can see of this picturesque castle. Can you guess what time it is? I was talking to oh. the camera. <laughs> you were asking <laughs> It's snack time! We're literally five feet in. There's two castles. There's a castle. There's a castle we're going. There's another castle. And that castle. Shit! Oh, I don't love that castle. And I kind of feel bad for that castle because it probably was really cool. People probably really liked it before, but now. This so we're walking up this hill to the castle. It's mountain. It's mountain. The other options to get up, you, you can pay for a bus, a shuttle that takes you most of the way, mm -hmm. uh, a horse-drawn carriage that is also most likely most more expensive, but also takes you up the way. Or walk. You it's can free. walk and get your exercise like us. And it's which really pretty. It is quite a pretty walk. Now, the other thing to note, we walked from our hotel, which is really cute and only added about 20 minutes to the journey. Mm -hmm. Or there are plenty of parking lots where you can pay eight euro for parking, but it is steep, so it is. duly noted. We made it to the base of the castle. Us and, you know, hundreds of our closest friends. Very crowded, but you can totally understand why. This is like super beautiful. Now, you can take a tour of this castle. Well, if you get tickets. However, it's like $15 a person for about a 25 minute tour and you can't take pictures. So, that doesn't really seem like a great value because it's only 25 minutes. So, we're not gonna do that. Doubt a lot of these people are, but we're just here to kind of take in the outside of this beautiful castle that inspired one of the Disney princess castles, I can't remember which. So we're just gonna enjoy the outside. This castle is really cool. Sadly, you can't really walk around the full perimeter of the castle, so at the end of the day, this is kind of just a very long and scenic hike. Well, not even that long, really. But it's worth coming to visit just because it's super duper cool. However, the castle wasn't actually built until the late 1800s, so in castle terms, it's really not even that old. All right, we made it back down to the kind of touristy area where everybody parks, and we are going to head across the river to Fusen to find ourselves some lunch and hopefully get a little bit of exploration before it starts pouring. Okay, so the place that we wanted to eat had literally no seats inside or out, uh, so we panicked walked two feet away and got a chocolate covered caramel filled dough ball instead of lunch. <laughs> We 
get to walk by a castle. Ooh. It's a park that's sandwiched between a castle and a river. How cool is that? day on the romantic road. Fusen is a super cute little town. If you have to budget your time on the romantic road, this is one of the more popular towns, especially given its proximity to the castle, which is definitely worth a stop. So odds are you're probably going to want to wind up in Fusen. We've checked into this little hotel inn. There's a ton of hotels. Tomorrow, we are checking out the northern portion of the romantic road. We're actually going to skip like there's a total of almost 20 some odd towns so we're really at the end of the day going to do somewhere between three and four you just kind of got to pick what sounds a little bit more interesting and run with it all right we are settling in for the night waiting on this rainstorm and getting ready and fueling up for day two on the romantic road good morning from the romantic road it is our second day on this amazing stretch of land somewhere in the heart of Germany. Our road trip continues. Today we are headed to the northern portion of the Romantic Road and we are headed to Rothenburg ob de Tauber. On the way, we're gonna stop at a couple towns. We are super excited. The Romantic Road has been beautiful thus far, so we have no reason to suspect that it will not be beautiful today. So, let's get going. Our first stop is the small town of Nordlingen. It is actually, there's quite a lot of traffic for as tiny of a town as this is. Of course, there's a church or a basilica or a cathedral, one of the three. I think that covers it all. So we'll probably head over there. <laughs> we walked in this town. You get right next to this church. It's a big circle and everything looks the same. So we already forgot where we parked. morning coming on the romantic road that route that we took is just the highway it's not actually the romantic road but we're not really people who like to do a lot of in and out and in and out and in and out of the car all day so we just selected a couple of towns this being the first meaning we just took the fastest way to get to the towns instead of along this like really pretty highway this is kind of what a lot of the towns are like they've got old walls old buildings old stuff and a bunch of stuff you can buy, which is also not really our jam. But this is what we were looking for on the Romantic Road. And this is a super cool way to start it. We are headed back to the car and on to the next town. We are in our second town of the day on the Romantic Road. We are in Dinkelbord. I don't know how to say it. So we're going to explore this for a little bit and then move on to our next town. So let's go exploring. Woo, more churches. Are you thinking of churches there? Never. Just like that, it's already time to say goodbye to Dinkelbo. Now we are headed on to Rothenburg ob de Tauber. That's our final destination for the evening. It's a little bit of a larger town, still very medieval in its essence. Onwards to Rothenburg ob de Tauber. All right, so we've just arrived at the town of Rothenburg ob de Tauber and we're checking into our cute little hotel. And we weren't gonna really show it to you, but it is way too cute to not show you a little peek about where we're staying. 
It's everything we could have dreamed of in an adorable little town. So we're gonna show you really quick what it looks like before we head to lunch. Another gate and more calls. We really are on the remainder. It was also really large and rather redundant. I mean, you kind of saw the same things over and over again after the first floor. So it was eight euro a person, cash only, so about 20 bucks. I wouldn't do it again, but I'm not upset that I did it. Okay, so we had a little memory card mishap and the little wrap up we did for the end of our Romantic Road experience is gone. So, the Romantic Road. Wrap up take two. The most important thing about the Romantic Road to note is there's about 20 towns on that thing. And unless you plan on spending like a week doing this, which I wouldn't recommend because you're gonna get bored, pick and choose. When you're planning and researching, what you'll find is there's not a lot of good information and you really have to just jump on whatever draws your eye. Make sure you're not on that tight of a schedule or you're gonna miss out and be stressed. And the point of all of this is to wander beautiful cobblestone streets, pick a cup of coffee and explore these small German towns. We hope that you enjoyed our fun on the Romantic Road. We hope that it has inspired you to look into potentially adding this to your German itinerary. Thank you so much for joining us on our romantic road journey. We are headed into another absolutely beautiful portion of Germany. We are headed to the Black Forest. We have four things that you have to do in the Black Forest to share with you on our next adventure. So hit that subscribe button and you can learn about the four things you must do in the Black Forest. We will see you in the Black Forest.